Uh, no, I don't want to do that again. Hey, that was easy. Got another Hydra task. Barely used any points. Man, if I knew I wasn't even gonna use that many points. Look, I'm at 3.5k, man. May not even have to rush it, but who knows? Gotta use this brew. Oh, wow, I just got it! Oh, what? Yo, I just got the Hydra's Claw. Holy shit. My goodness, boys. That didn't take too long. That did not take too long, boys. Only 458 kills, mate. Only 458 kills, boys. Let's go, man. Third task to charm. That's what. That's why I gotta call it, man. Wait, why is it like in in the form of a plate? There's like a bowl or something on it. Dope, man. Dope. I can't wait to make my uh, dragon hunter lance, though, man. So all that's left for Hydra that I want is the Hydra's heart which is a component to make the brimstone ring best in salt hybrid ring with a really cool effect and the hydra's pet which if i were to guess is probably one three thousand so that's gonna be a tough grind but yeah man getting closer and closer to completion wow man i'm just not hitting anymore wait what so there's this glitch where if you're moving too much before Hydra on the final phase spits the poison, it will do the head bob motion, but it won't even show the poison animation. So that threw me off. Okay, so I just think I just have to use it on the hosta, right? Is that simple? Are you sure you combine the Hydra Claw and the Samarkian hosta to create the Dragon Hunter Lens? This cannot be reverted. Yes, of course. Proceed with the alchemical combination. Oh, it did the uh, the diamond sparkle enchantment animation there. Ho oh, ho, there it is, boys. The equipment uh, viewer, you can't even see the whole thing. So I guess I'll just show it in the game, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Not the biggest fan of the spirals because it looks like a screwdriver, but... So here is the stat overview of the Dragon Hunter Lance. It's almost identical to that of a Samarakian Spear, not including its special 20% damage and accuracy against dragons. Its base stats is 5 melee strength less than a Samarakian Hosta, and it doesn't offer the defense bonuses that a Hosta or Zami Spear typically would offer you. So when you are fighting non-dragons, the Samarakian Hosta will be superior to a Lance, but the moment you use the lance against a dragon, it will be far superior to that of a hosta by a lot. The 20% damage and accuracy is huge. So shortly after I finish this Hydra task, I'm gonna go and test this Dragon Hunter lance everywhere. Or at least try to, you know, try to test it on relevant dragons that I'm sure a lot of people are interested in. Things like Rune Dragons, uh, things like Forecast. And of course, the Ohm, of course, who doesn't want to test the Dragon Hunter Lance on the Mighty Ohm. But there's also a lot of Slayer tasks that I'm going to inevitably be getting when I am uh, doing my other goals. So things like uh, Wyverns, Skeletal Wyverns, Fossil Wyverns, um, Mithril Dragons, Addy Dragons. It's not that important. Oh shit, I just hit 500 KC as well. Wow. Um, so, looks like I'm going to be ending at like 650 KC when I finish this task. With the bracelet. Once this task is over, I'm gonna go back to focusing a bit more on the original goals that I've had on this account, like pet hunting, metamorphic dust hunting, and whatnot, and test out that lance. Oh my god, I got another Hydra Claw! Oh my god. Oh, damn. Definitely felt a bit too lucky on the Hydra Claw grind just because, you know, on day three, I already managed to get the Hydra Claw and another one. I'm used to grinding things that could take, you know, weeks, months, and even up to a year based on my raids experience. And yeah, it's, it's just like so weird to get a big item so fast. But I, I feel bad though because I know there's probably a few other people out there that are like super dry and whatnot, so. And I believe the draw rate is estimated to be 1 in 1,000 based on the copious large sample sizes that people have gathered throughout the uh, past week or two. This is a lot more profitable than Vorkath. Right now, yes. Oh, I got it! The Hydra's Heart. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. That's it. I'm already done. 
543 kills. Wow, that's not even that bad. Man, I, I, got, I got the Hydra on G, boys. Shit, that's crazy, dude. That's so crazy. So, I pretty much have every single drop now from Hydra, excluding the pets. And I'm definitely not going to have that motivation to grind Hydra, like, every single hour of the day. Because, like, the past three days, I've been doing, like, eight hours of Hydra every day. So, yeah, definitely uh, need to tone it down. So, now's a good time. Anyways. Are you sure you want to combine the Hydra Heart, the Hydra Eye, and the Hydra Fang to the Brimstone Ring? This cannot be reversed. Of course. Of course. Proceed with the combination. Ooh. Oh shoot, I didn't get to read the dialogue, damn it. I was so keen on just putting it on, you know? As you guys can see, this ring's got everything. It's got attack bonuses for every style, it's got defense bonuses for every style. It also comes with a 4 strength bonus as well. So you're probably wondering, can I imbue this bad boy in Nightmare Zone? Actually, you cannot. So this is its full base power and yeah, it ain't changing. It does have the 25% chance to ignore 10% of whatever you're fighting's uh, magic defense and when you're using any magic spell, including Trident too. So what are the uses for this ring? Now post edit, I can tell you that this ring is hella nice for raids. I would say a lot of uh, high level raiders would say that this ring overall is a teeny bit better than a Berserker ring. And I've heard that P. Cares might want to use this. Don't quote me on that. I've just heard rumors about it. But another use that I can think of is Maging Bandos. This ring's magic defense negation ability would certainly make Maging Bandos a bit uh, better. But yeah, as for me, Challenge for Raids awaits with this new ring. That's for sure. So here's all the Hydra Uniques uh, showcased at the same time. So we got the Lance, the Necklace the Brimstone Ring, and the Ferocious Gloves. So I will pretty much be using all four of these new items. Uh, the Necklace is just a Bone Crusher, so I'm just going to be bringing it for regular Slayer. And Lance is just for any Dragon task and for Ohm. And the Ferocious Gloves is for any time I'm doing a melee task, so it's going to pair really well with the Lance. And also the Brimstone Ring is going to be perfect for Challenge Mode Raids and Raids in general. Alright, so we're gonna put this ring, um, I guess, next to all the other rings that I commonly use, so... Mm-hmm, <laughs> wow, man, my, my banks look quite different, you know, just because of Hydra, man. Quite a few new things here. <laughs> looks nice, though. Looks really nice. Oh, dude, you can! Yo, I just got a Bone Crusher! <laughs> Even though I made the Bone Crusher necklace. Oh, -ho. Okay, so the reason why I, I did this is because I do have an extra tail and I was wondering if you can make another Bone Crusher necklace because you know how like you can stack uh, Master Clue scroll books if you take out a charge and then put it on the empty one. So I'm thinking what if I can do the same thing with the uh, Hydra tail and the Dragon uh, Bone necklace. So let's test this. Oh, let me see if they stack. So it turns out that it just doesn't stack. So that's a shame. Oh my god, I just got another Hydra leather. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Just trying to wrap up this task, you know, looking for the pet, and then I get another Hydra leather. Oh shit. Oh my god, I just got another Hydra leather. What? I still think it's 1 in 512, you know? I'm not even gonna lie, the Hydra RNG is wild, cause I swear to you, this is not a repeat clip, this is literally my third leather in like, I don't know, the past 100 kills. And also, I forgot to record a Hydra's Eye. I'm in the process of starting another Brimstone Ring. <laughs> like, seriously. And the task is complete! Holy shit, I did three Hydra tasks, and uh, what's the KC now? Wow, 660, Jesus. The bracelets really did, did work. Like, basically, if you think about it, I'm doing 220 kills a task. Man, okay, well, I've definitely had my fun here. I've gotten what I wanted for the most part. Uh, you know, still gonna be back for the pet. I would do Dordel, but you can't get Hydra from Dordel, so 
And I want the pet too from Hydra, so yeah. Just gonna be doing the pet hunting stuff through Konar for a bit, see how that works. Hopefully uh, it works out nice. Wow, that's so easy. Bring balance to five skeletal wyverns. Hmm, I mean, can you... I, I would assume the lance is definitely better than the whip that I typically use. So here is my setup for wyverns. I'm bringing along two new bad boys. We got the ferocious gloves and the lance. The ferocious gloves is definitely the choice of gloves when you are just simply meleeing, like wyvern meleeing. But yeah, these stats are amazing. So the lance is very versatile. It's got a stab slash and a crush style. For wyverns, uh, they are special because they're actually really weak to crush. And the lance actually has a really good crush. So actually, instead of stab, which I normally would use, wyverns has the exception of where I should be using crush. My character is holding the lance with two hands and holding the shield together. Wow. Let's go smack some, uh, smack some wyverns, dude, with the lance. Oh, 56! 60! Okay, I'm loving this weapon already. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Imagine just smashing wyverns like that? Oh my god, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I think I just four hit the wyverns earlier. Oh my goodness. This is too good. Yo, I wish I had a 30 of these sides instead of 5, because... Wow, I'm kicking ass. I am absolutely kicking ass right now. I can't wait to try these at Fossil Island Wyverns too. Yo, the crush animation is sick, dude. Ooh, 30 Adamant Dragons. Adi Dragons are definitely a good place to test the land sides, as I am looking for the Dragon Kite Shield parts whenever I get the task. And these guys are super tanky. So here's my setup for Addy Dragons. I'll also be using it for Rune Dragons as well. But I do bring the Defender because anything Mithril and up, I've realized these guys' defenses really require your best accuracy. So definitely worth using Super Antifire just so I can speed up the kills a bit. So the Addy Dragons are insanely tanky. So you're going to be noticing some zeros every now and then. But honestly, with the Lance... I narrowed down those zeros by such a big margin. I pretty much almost hit every time, and I was able to hit like up to 63 with full on uh, max strength. So that's insane because I typically, before this, used the Grazi Rapier, so I was hitting like mid 50s, like 57s or something. And I definitely missed a good amount more. It was so noticeable. So, yes, the Lance absolutely dominates uh, these dragons, especially the higher defense ones. I, I definitely wouldn't ban those. They're too common. Oh, Fire Giants. I'm banning those. There we go. Since uh, Konar does not give Su Suqua Tass at all, I'm going to be uh, putting this as the block list instead since Fire Giants are a 9, which is the second highest frequency, which is slightly under 4% chance. So, yeah, that's getting the, into the block list. Oh, there we go. Fossil Island Wyvern's perfect. That's, that's another good tanky uh, creature to chest. I didn't bother using the lance on the regular Fossil Island Wyverns because they were honestly quite easy even with the rapier. So I thought, okay, you know what, let's try out the ancient wyverns with the lance. And I gotta tell you, the difference is so noticeable. So from what I can see, the pattern is, is that the tankier the dragon, the better the lance really does over something like a Grazi rapier. So as you can see in, in these uh, few clips of me fighting them, is the lance is just penetrating through its thick defense, similar to that of Addy Dragon. So before, I used to bring a Warhammer because it would actually make a noticeable difference when I landed the spec to reduce this defense. But honestly, with a Dragon Hunter Lance, it's not really worth it anymore just because the lance is already really accurate on its own. I'd rather just bring an SGS for some heals instead, for sure. But anyways, I managed to complete the whole Ancient Wyvern task in one trip, which previously was not possible at all. Like, I would go hard with a Grassy Rape here, and if I get lucky, I get like 14, 15 kills a trip using just like, you know, Manta Rays. But yeah, this time I did over 20 kills in one trip with modest amounts of food drops. So 
this is actually quite impressive. So yeah, the lance just shreds on tanky dragons. Unfortunately, I don't have time to test out the lands at any more places for today, but I plan on testing it out at some other important places like Vorkath and Ohm, of course. So hopefully I can get that in the next video. But so far, uh, first impressions for the Giant Hunter lands, it is really good. It works exactly as advertised initially. It will 100% replace Garazi Rapier both in price and in actual effectiveness against dragons when you're meleeing. So some questions that you know need to be answered is what about against Dragon Hunter Crossbow? I'll definitely talk more about that in the next video because you know it's really pertained strictly more so for Vorkath. But yeah, I'll tell you more about that. But in terms of meleeing dragons, this thing is not going to be surpassable by anything else at the moment. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to give the video a like as it would help promote this video and support the channel. Besides that, many thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys soon with another video within the next week. Take care and bye bye.